YouTube Wednesday! Happy Halloween! Uh, this is the Halloween edition of YouTube Wednesday because the next YouTube Wednesday will fall after Halloween. So, uh, in light of the holiday that is my favorite and probably yours, I am making a scarecrow. I'm starting with a wooden T, not a cross, that is six foot by eight foot. And I'm just gonna screw these boards together. I got about four to six inches sticking up on this side. I just wanted to show you guys this just so you didn't ask any questions later. Uh, I'm not gonna teach you how to use a screw gun. Uh, the first thing that I want to work on for my scarecrow is his head. Uh, that's going to be an important part. I purchased for $2.99 at a Walgreens this child's ball. It was a good size. I wanted an oversized head. And I purchased contractor grade trash bags, a 20 pack from Harbor Freight, $9.99. I'm going to turn it inside out. That way those sharp corners are kind of folded in so I'm not going to mess with unfolding them. And I'll get a more pumpkin-like shape. Alright, the bag is bigger than the ball. So what I can do to make it more pumpkin-y is I can pleat this bag. I have a center top up here. Now I'm going to give myself just a little bit. Okay. I want to give this a bit of a stalk. I'm taking the wire ties that were in with the garbage bags. I'm going to pull up three or four inches on top of my pseudo pumpkin. And I'm going to heat gun it. And that's going to help. That's going to help me start a gathering point for the rest of this bag. Uh, it's bigger than the ball, so to help it make more look more pumpkin-like, I'm going to put a pleat in it. Okay, bring it down there. I'm going to put another little pleat in it, and these are going to run down the length of the pumpkin. And all these folds are really going to help me get the pumpkin-like ridges. Okay, and I have several pleats in it now, and I'm just going to hit that with the heat gun. And I don't want to concentrate my fire too much in one area, because I could pop that ball in there. And until I get enough plastic on it, that ball is what's keeping its shape. Okay, right now, I'm going to go ahead and wire tie the bottom of this pumpkin. Okay. Because this will be our neck that goes ends up going down into the uh, torso. have that good and started, and I have a smoother side and a side where I pleat it. That's not enough for me. I'm going to have to add more, but I'm also going to go ahead right now and flatten this out, this tail on it. Okay, that is just tighten that up a little bit. So I can make this into a tag to help attach that torso. And that's about where my head's going to be. This bag, I don't want to leave 
in whole bag form. This bag is divided into four even sections. A lot of garbage bags are when they're folded up. I'm going to take a pair of scissors and I'm going to cut these strips off of this bag. Okay, so the four strips that I have that uh, I have cut off, I want to put back on here, uh, but I want to twist them up. They're going to help me make the ridges of the pumpkin. Okay, um, I have separated into four pieces to get fingers, and it kind of looks like a broom right now because of all the little pieces of bag that it's got. And I just want to twist it up really good and then hit it with the heat gun. I'm just going to leave that like it is for now. I'll finish it out later on. I'm going to knock out the other arm. Uh, I now have my other arm on. I got my hand done over there to this same point. Uh, I am going to adjust my arm a little bit. And then I'm going to staple the hand down. Because I really want this support structure to hold everything up. I'm adding a tool in on you, which is a squirt bottle filled with water. I think it's water. It's water. And a little bit of soap. Yeah. For some reason. But, that will not daunt me. I want to tighten up the bottom of this hand. It was kind of hard to access before. Tighten it up, give it some a look some structure. I'm really going to heat up this wrist. So I want the wrist to heat up and I want it to hold this bend I'm putting in it. Now that it has the bend that I want, I'm cooling it down really quick. You saw a little bit of steam come off of there. Cooling that down. Okay, back to my heat gun. I am heating the fingers at a knuckle that I choose. I'm making a knuckle basically. Heating it and I'm cooling it so it stands up on its own. Now I'm going to give it another knuckle. By heating that one part till it's kind of bendy. I'm heating it, cooling it right now. And that has a finger that I can now shape a little bit further. So I really want pointed fingers on this guy. I'm just heating the end and I'm heating the end. I don't want it so hot it burns me, but I do want to be able to pull it 
and stretch it a little bit. I've kind of made it a little bit malleable. Now that pointy finger right there is what they all should look like. So I'm going to knock out the rest of these fingers. I'm superheating an area, which will make a knuckle basically, where I can, it's a bending point. I'm going to bend it and make it hold its shape by pulling it right down. And I'm getting even that big old lump to be a more pointed finger. Kyle, look at my scary scarecrow. Mm -hmm. I like that. Uh, both of my hands are done. Uh, there's the one. Uh, way over there is the other one. Uh, but right now, I want to work on his neck. Because I want to have a bit of a stouter neck than what I've got now. I want to hang him high so I want him looking down, but I just want to put a little something in here to make him a little bit stronger looking. Uh, you can go in with more plastic and add the muscles where their muscles go, but I want him really Jack Skellington kind of thin and minimalist. If your thinking cap is on, then you realize that you could build a whole court out of just garbage bags. You don't have to have anything inside of it. Uh, it's a matter of the time you want to take. So there. Okay, I just added just a little tendril there, and I might do a few more of those later on, depending. But right now, uh, I still need to attach the head, but I have his arms attached, I have his body attached. I don't think I'm going to do legs on this guy. I think I want him one of the legless scarecrows that you see nowadays. Nowadays. Uh, but to do that, I want to, I want to balance this lower body somehow. So I'm going to cut some more strips of bag, these four again, and I'll use those to uh, come down here and just do hang-me-down tendrily bits. I just want to get this all black so I can dry brush it. I'm starting to paint now, which I'm pretty happy about. And I think this guy will look a lot less weird when he's all black. But again, I want him very whimsical. I don't want a super scary scarecrow. You can do anything you want with the head of your scarecrow. Probably should wait for that to dry, but I think you guys have a good idea of how patient I am for those kinds of things now. Uh, those are just some tongue depressors that I put in uh, for some whimsical teeth, and uh, 
you know you can cut them and hot glue them on if you stuff your head with newspaper then uh, they'll stab right in Hey, love. I'm good. I'm making a big-ass scarecrow for YouTube Wednesday. <laughs>